Welcome back to VIP Access with me, Des. X-Men First Class sees kick-ass director Matthew Vaughn join the Marvel Universe. And with producer Brian Singer overseeing the new franchise, First Class is all about introducing humanistic characters. Our award-winning journalist Stevie Wong formed alliances between the heroes and the villains of the X-Men universe to get them talking. Let's see what they had to say. Help me guide it. Shape it. Lead it. This, it's an origin story, so therefore you've got <clears throat> a lot of fans really kind of watching this under my, you know, yeah. a microscope. It respects the history that exists in the comic books. At the same time as saying that, it doesn't necessarily go with the history that's in the movies either. It's not the documentary of X-Men, do you know what I mean? It's a summer movie that's, that's they're trying to make successful, you know? How's that for a magic trick? Best I've ever seen. The fans are so passionate and so loyal and so honest with their opinions. There, there is that element of pressure there, but you know, you just have to sort of go for it and then hopefully do justice to it. When you knew that you were going to play Magneto, were you questioning, like, really? Was you this think, oh, you know, well, what? what's the reasoning and well, what sort of, you know, what's the story going to be? Uh, is there anything new to be explored? But then the idea that Matthew was going to direct, I found that very attractive. And then the fact that James was going to be playing a young Charles, I thought, well, this could be a really interesting combination. At that point, you know, you sort of, you just go for it. My name's Sebastian Shaw. And I am not here to hurt you. I was a fan of the movies, but, you know, hadn't really delved into the comic book um, world. But I read the script and I was like, Wow, this, there's a lot of stuff that's cool about this, including the character, so I'm, I'm in. So your mutation is what? You're super smart? I wish that's all it was. Heck, I didn't ask, so I didn't tell. You can show off. You're amazing. I know to the screen test, I did wear a blue shirt because I thought this could swing it for me, and it worked. So uh, I think I'd walked a fine line there of, you know, just hinting towards the color of the beast skin later on. What I loved about Emma Frost is that there is an element of, she's almost like a Bond girl, but a, like the, she's like the bad Bond girl kind of thing. And so how did you play it? My take on it was just to do the research of the character in the comic books, try to get as much backstory about her as I could and, and just enjoyed reading the comic books. Being as diligent as I could about learning as much as I could quickly um, before we started filming. I promised myself I'd find a cure ever since I was a little boy. You have no idea what I'd give to feel normal. Yeah. Working with Matthew on set, there's no faffing around. If you're rubbish and he doesn't believe what you say, he'll let you know. Directors who have talent with the camera, talent with actors, talent with story, are able to move well in any kind of budget and size. And I think that's a perfect example of, of Matt. <laughs> There was a lot of training. There was a montage, Rocky sequence. Some of the stunts they were doing, you know, with the flying of, of Angel and Banshee, and they were doing this stuff for real, you know. They've got people you know, dangling from helicopters to helicopters whilst they're chasing each other, and it's, uh, it's like mad. <laughs> I spent hours in my kitchen trying to bend a spoon, and uh, I never managed to do it, which was a bit upsetting, really. Sometimes stuff gets too weird and gets cut out of the movie. And there's one particular scene which I'm gutted is gone, which involved a lot of cross-dressing. Images of that scene will surface one day and then you'll know what I'm talking about. Listen to me very carefully, my friend. Killing will not bring you peace. Peace was never an option.
make sure you witness the origin when X-Men First Class unleashes its fury into a cinema near you. Also, win some cool X-Men First Class movie merchandise by logging onto our Facebook page at facebook.com slash starmoviesvipaccess. And that wraps up our look at First Class Mutants, but don't forget to check out our website on our Facebook page for more one-on-one -on -one interviews with James McAvoy and the rest. Next time on VIP Access, the Autobots get an upgrade while Megatron plots his revenge in the third installment of the Transformers franchise, Dark of the Moon. Until next time, this is Deso signing off for VIP Access. Have fun at the movies. It's over. I'm sorry, but it's over. your faith in us, but never in yourselves. From here, the fight will be your own.